Hello again, YouTube people. It occurred to me I better make a video about this. Somebody's going to see this on the other video and have a conniption. Uh, yes, Ferrer's engine cradle rusted through. Uh, that is a very common place for them to rust through. Uh, the, the engine cradle is made out of 16 gauge sheet metal. Okay, it's made out of the same thing you make a fender or a hood out of. Uh, and it's hollow. So water collects right here and eventually rusts through. You know, just like a wheel well lip or the cab corners on a pickup truck or anything else. It's going to trap water, water and eventually rust through. So, uh, what you're looking at here, this is actually the back side of a piece of 3 16 thick angle iron. There. Had to fire up the obstreperous creeper. Uh, I discovered that if you lay down in a puddle of what once was ATF, uh, it still gets all over your clothes. <laughs> I had to change my clothes, so now I'm using the obstreperous creeper. But anyway, this is a piece of 3 16 thick angle iron. It's welded right here. And then, like I said, this creeper has a mind of its own. Um, it's bolted. These are grade 8 bolts passing through the tow hook into the angle iron. And then the angle iron runs you know, all the way to here. So um, any stresses on this tow hook are being transferred to that angle iron, which is attached to more than enough good metal to get Ferrer on a rollback, which ostensibly he wouldn't have to do anyway because he has a new engine. And I did the same thing over here on this side. This here's the angle iron. This side was solid. Um, I wire wheeled this all the way down to bare metal. And this is all solid metal through here. I took it all the way down to metal. and But I wanted the two sides to match. So, you got the 3 16 angle iron. It's welded right here. These are your two grade 8 bolts passing through, and then it runs all the way to here. So, um, this tow hook here is, like, fantastically solid. And, um, Ferrer's frame is actually in very good condition. Um, somebody's done some welding up on the crumple extension. Um, but, you know, that, that's pretty standard. But uh, I uh, stripped it down. What it is, somebody painted his frame with some sort of a black paint. I uh, don't know if it's supposed to be poor 15 or not. If it is, I'm not real impressed that poor 15 because it doesn't stick worth two cents. <laughs> you can just peel it right off. Uh, and then they uh, went over that with bed liner. Now, that bed liner has more adhesion to it than whatever the black paint is that's underneath the bed liner. Uh, there's definitely two layers. But um, I stripped all his engine cradle down. As I said in the other video, it got battle scarred underneath here from jacking it up. Um, the paint hadn't gotten all the way hard. It takes about a month for the enamel to get hard. This is just plain old enamel. And it takes about a month for it to get all the way hard. So um, this started getting jacked up uh, before it was ready. So I will uh, um, clean it up and, and repaint it when we're totally finished with the jacking process but you no know, his frame is solid it uh, well, like I said somebody did some welding on the crumple extension but uh, I think that's pretty standard I think lots of people weld on the crumple extensions but the remainder of it is good and solid and of course it's got a freshly painted engine cradle and this creeper is about to wear the piss out of me <laughs> 